Hey there. So over the last couple of weeks, TickTick has released some small updates to the app. And I thought I would just take this video and just show you what they put out on their change log and see if we can find those changes and updates in the app itself. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. Okay, so I'm starting with the change log. And yesterday, January 11th, there was two updates. The first one says, customizable, some commonly used shortcuts, effortlessly boosting work efficiency. Well, <laughs> that is not that descriptive on what that means, actually. Um, customizable, some commonly used shortcuts. So my first thought was to go to the shortcuts and see what's there. So let me bring up Tick Tick and I'll go to settings and I'll go down to the shortcuts. And so what I think it's talking about is like the print shortcut can now be customized. So by default, it's command P, but we can click on this and we can change it to command M or command Y. Well, not command Y, cause that must be tied to something else, but let's say command B or we can just switch it back to command P. So it's customizable now. So print is customizable. The open command menu is customizable. Add task. Expand and collapse all subtasks. And I think that's it. Uh, go to search is actually also customizable. So that's nice that these are customizable now, but I guess my question on this one is, why not just make them all customizable? Why is print customizable, but not save or sync? Why is add task customizable, but not uh, add subtask, for example? I don't know. It just seems like if you were going to make some of these customizable, why not make them all customizable? So anyways, let's go back to the change log. Add a do not disturb switch for subscribe calendars. Accessible in settings, subscribe calendars. Okay, so... This one is a little more self-explanatory. Let's go over to the subscribed calendars, which is on integrations and import. And let's subscribe to a calendar real quick. So I've just added my Google calendar as a subscribed calendar. And here's the do not disturb now. So it says don't disturb. And below it says don't receive notifications for calendar events in Tick Tick. And so right now it's toggled off and I can turn the don't disturb on. So this one makes sense, you know, if you want to subscribe to other calendars, but you don't always want to be notified all the time of when events happen from those specific calendars, you can turn that off. And so that one makes sense. I like that one. That's a good update. So that covers the updates from January 11th. Uh, if we go back to December 29th, there was also an update. And this one says optimize the color selection interface and now support selecting custom colors using RGB. All right, so I'm gonna flip back over to Tick Tick, and let's go to, oh, it's updating. And let's go to a list, and let's edit this list. So I'm gonna edit my personal tasks list. So this color selection here is what they're talking about, and if we click this last icon, which is like a rainbow color, this part is new. So they now have like color palettes, so I'm not gonna, try and pronounce that one, but there's classic, Memphis, and then there's also custom down here, which you can hit the plus button and pretty much select any color, you know, using this slider down here, along with this color changer up here. Or if you happen to know the hex code, you can just type this in down here. And so these custom colors are new along with these uh, color palettes up here that you can just choose from. So if you like this, uh, if you like this top color palette, that's what I'll call it. Um, you know, you can you can use this color palette to kind of keep your lists. Now, I actually don't find the colors that useful on lists, but um, but it, but it is nice now that we have more options when choosing a color rather than just the standard out of the box colors. So we can pick any color that we like now. And so that's real quick, the uh, updates that TickTick Tick has made over the last couple of weeks. Um, again, not a major update, but they do roll out changes um, pretty frequently. And so I just thought I would 
throw this video out there and let you guys know what they've been working on, what updates have been made to the app. And let me know in the comments if you like receiving these updates, if you like these types of videos, just quick, you know, here's what's new in tick tick type videos. Let me know in the comments. Well, thanks for watching. Have a good one.